Hi, I'm artist Jenny Florvita and welcome back to my art studio. Would you like to learn to paint sea kelp on watercolor greeting card paper and then embellish it with gold accents? I'll share the paints that I used, what worked, what didn't work, and then at the end I'll show you which design I liked the most. Sea kelp is a wonderful subject to practice brush strokes with. I was inspired to do this piece after a recent trip to Monterey and I thought, wouldn't this subject make beautiful greeting cards? You could go to the ocean with a pack of cards and paint these on spot or you could paint them in your studio. So the paints that I'm using, the watercolor paints are all Winsor & Newton Professional Artist Series colors. They are Cobalt Blue, Ultramarine Blue, Permanent Sap Green, and Windsor Yellow. These are the colors I'm going to be mixing the kelp. And then my brush is a round 16 inch with a point. So I'm using Strathmore watercolor card paper and I've used this paper before. It's more craft quality, so it is not the same quality as professional paper is. So what I've discovered is it's best to try to capture what you're after with one stroke versus going back in and you're going to see with this first card. When I go back, I ended up with a few blooms and that could be beautiful in its own way and it could certainly work with a kelp, a sea kelp scene. You know, if you didn't want, want that, the best way to work with this paper is practice a few times, be willing to sacrifice a few cards, and you're going to find your rhythm. So in total, I painted three cards and they were inside and out. I needed to figure out a design for the front and I also wanted to have a painting on the inside. So these were really cards where if you wanted to just have a quick note, you could write a quick note to somebody. On the inside, you want to be able to leave some space. On the outside of the card, you've got the right hand side and that's going to fold and then become the front of the card and the left hand side will be the back. So what I discovered with kelp, if I wanted to have more than one strand of kelp on the front, my kelp strands, I was painting them a little bit thicker and shorter, which is beautiful. But in my second variation, I wanted to go with a little bit more expressive, long kelp strands. So when I turned the card over, I practiced this and I'm doing this by pressing down on my brush. I'm loading my brush with paint and then I'm pressing down to get the thicker parts and then pulling up to get the, th the thinner parts of the kelp. And it's, it's all practice. You will find that you can create really expressive kelp designs. This is such an easy, easy, easy thing to paint. Just with, with a little bit of practice, you're gonna get it. On the inside of the card, I really like my first try and I thought I'm going to try a little bit of gold paint on the side. The gold paint that I used is another watercolor. It's iridescent gold and it's by Daniel Smith and it's pretty enough. And I thought I'm just going to experiment with this first card and I discovered that I didn't necessarily like using it as a watercolor for more kelp. The color wasn't quite strong enough and maybe it's just that I didn't load the brush thick enough with the paint but I don't know. I feel like this gold paint is used just, it should just be for more accents. And then I didn't feel like it was strong enough of a color to paint over the kelps. And you know, honestly, if I had worked a little bit more with this, I might've found a way to make it work. But I thought, I'm going to try a new card. I wanted to go with the longer kelp strands. And so I've got, I've got the longer strands on the front of the card. Now you can see, I'm, I'm gonna point out to you that to get those longer, thinner, more elegant strands, you're probably only going to be able to get one good strand of kelp. That front of that card ended up being a little bit more minimal and I really like it. It's just a really different look. And I realized as I was painting these cards that, you know, each one could just be free form and different and, and that's, that's the beauty of it.
I'm mixing my colors. So in the top part of my watercolor palette, I have the sap green and then I have the Windsor lemon. And on the bottom, I have the cobalt blue and the French ultramarine. And just mixing those colors and letting them just kind of flow into each other and out, it just adds a lot of expression. If you want kelp more in the background, you can have lighter colors. That's what I would suggest. So on the inside of this second card, I just wanted to leave a little bit of space so you could write a note. And I thought I'm going to just paint again free, free form. And I really like how it's turning out. And like I said, as this paper is craft quality and it's, it's fine enough for watercolor paper. Try to keep in mind that if you do one pass of color, that's probably best. Try not to go back again for a second pass and you know, or, or you're gonna get blooms. So I thought with this card, I'm going to experiment with a gold pen. I actually really liked this technique here. So I'm going back over and I'm just doing freeform lines sometimes through the center and I'm not going to do it on every piece of kelp. I just thought this this gives it a really nice minimal design look. At one point ink just kind of flowed out of the pen and just kind of puddled up and I thought I'm just going to let it dry like that. I really like that technique and then I thought let me see what happens if I can line it on the bottom. Will that make that gold leaf stand out a little bit more? I would discourage using the pen on the for, for that gold leaf part. I, I liked the inside of that card. So here's card one. The inside of that card. So now here's the second card, and I'm going to try a different technique. I'm gonna try the iridescent gold. That is an acrylic paint, and it's made by Golden. And it's a thicker paint, and I, th I thought that this worked really well, so. So if I was going to go and do gold accents again, I would I would go for the acrylic paint and it's a stiffer paint. So you have to take your time and go slow. It takes a little bit of time to dry and I found that it works better if I can hold the card off of the surface and if I could just do it with a steady hand and, and try to get the line. And the line doesn't need to be perfect. It could be very organic. I liked this look and it was it was very pretty. So here are all three of my cards and tell me which card you like the most. I'd love to hear. There's the inside of the first. This is the second card. There's the inside. I think I really like the composition of the inside of the second because it gave me a lot of space to write a note if I wanted to. And then the third card had the longer, more elegant kelps and it's more minimal on the front. And it's got a very similar design on the inside. If I was going to paint this again, I might, I might continue doing something like this on the inside and you could even reverse the design. Let me know which design you like the most. Thank you for watching my video, and if you found value in this, please like and subscribe and hit the bell notification. If you'd like to see more of my fine art, you can view my original paintings at floravitalights.com, and I also make reverse painted glass chandeliers and lamps. That's a specialty. See you in the next video.